And welcome to another video in the Unity UI extensions tutorial series. Today we're going to be focusing on our combo box controls, of which we have three. We have a basic drop down list for just simple text, a more advanced combo box control, and a autocomplete box with a, with a bit of extra text filtering capabilities. Obviously, be aware in Unity 5.2, Unity are bringing out their own drop down list control. At that time, we'll evaluate to see whether that control is more superior or works in, whether you should keep the one in the extension project or drop it completely. Also, Unity 1 has more built in with the engine. Anyway, let's get on to one we're focusing on here. So we go to our standard project, and like every, every other one, is that we go to Game Object, UI, Extensions, and we have our three combo boxes. So we go for our standard combo box. Let's move over here. It's our most simplest one. And then we look folks here on the right hand side in the actual inspector. So we can set our, si our size. And then we can enter our options. So what are we doing here? And a question mark. Now, one thing to really focus on here is the actual items to display. This controls how many items it displays when the actual box is opened in, in full, full effect. If you don't set this option, then you'll get no options displayed. So I'm going to set that to three. And then if we run the project, quite simply, we have our nice little combo box here. We can drop down and we can see there's three items displayed. We're two off there. Also, by default, these are sorted alphabetically as well for easy reading. So something to be aware of uh, when using it. You can select one, then open it up again, and we can select another one, and so on and so forth. Standard combo box. Combo box. We then obviously have a slightly more advanced drop-down list. Sorry, yeah, drop-down list. And this is basically the same control, but the items that we can actually have in here are more advanced. So we can see here they're broken up into several elements. We can have a basic caption, like the drop down list. We can have images. We can know whether an item is disabled or not. And we can also give it an ID. So when you select, click on it, it will actually give you back the ID of the item clicked. Again, quite simple. And the last one we have is our autocomplete box. Let me launch this one. And with this, this control, like the other controllers case, we have an items, still standard text, because obviously with an autocomplete box, we're listing out text. So it's kind of coming in. So much more to demonstrate. So then for, again, how many items we want to display in the control. So I'm going to put it to five, so it, they all show, show up by default. And we run this. So again, I can simply drop it down, select it, go back up. But with this control, obviously, is that if I start typing, then it limits it down to what is actually showing with those letters in it. So go much or more, and so on. And again, this control you can customize now. Now, the other thing you can customize in these uh, controls is the actual how the way these items are displayed. So in each, you've got an item template, which you can then control what that item looks like in the control itself. And then every single other control will be the same. So there they are. They're in the extension project itself. As with all the other ones, you have any suggestions or things you want to change, you want to create, put them forward to the project, and we'll get them into the next update. Uh, any issues, again, log on the GitHub bit, Bitbucket site. Sorry, GitHub anti. And that's the end of this tutorial. See you on the next one.